Adventures. Welcome back to MD React. I'm Akila. And I'm Derek. And today we are back with House of the Dragon, episode four. Yeah, uh, episode four already. Yeah, I have no idea what the episode's called. Hold on. King of the Narrow Sea. Unfortunately, we ran into technical difficulties with episodes two and three. We lost the footage because we had a laptop failure. So I'm just going to give you guys our thoughts on those episodes, I guess, really quick. One thing I'll say is the king is, I think, pretty soft and indecisive. Uh, we saw in the third episode, it's almost like Allison is the deciding factor for him to send help to Damon. It wasn't really his decision. Allison is the one who talks him into it, pretty much. I hated the maggot scene. Otto's becoming a really interesting character. He's he's becoming more and more interesting with each episode that goes by. The king, too, having a lot of complexities around deciding what to do about his daughter and naming her heir and deciding to stick to his guns on that, even though everyone's expecting him not to. And yeah, we got to see some action last episode with Dragon, seeing how dragons do in battle. Seeing Damon basically go in at the end. Destroy the... Crab King, Easy whatever, running. crab feeder, mm -hmm. he gets wrecked. I think with Bosa, we're getting attached to young Rhaenyra. We know that there's an older actress who plays her later on. We think she's doing a phenomenal job so far. Yes. Love seeing those moments where you, you feel that sense of Game of Thrones again, because it was all in the writing with that show. Yeah. So when you feel it between those conversations with just two people going back and forth and good dialogues happening there, I love moments like that. Oh, love that the theme song was back. Yes. I got really excited about that. All right, well, without further ado, let's jump to episode four. How much time have we lost now? Oh yeah, I forgot about the crazy time jump. Are these like potential suitors? That's what I'm guessing. Guy just cuts himself off to pour some wine. I think it's gonna be a hard no. She is not afraid to speak out. Sassy out. one. Mm -hmm. And then we have a twelve-year-old. Your day shall be easy and night safe. Come on, you're twelve. Princess has a dragon. You die. Oh, oh my god. He's not wrong. Poor kid. Craven. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh snap. Yeah, I got murdered by a kid. What a loser. Talks all that smack and he can't be a twelve-year-old. With her being so stubborn and peculiar, I mean, she has standards. I don't blame her. Makes you wonder who she's gonna end up with. He's right there. She can't marry him. She is gonna marry Sir Kristen. Mark my words. You think? Hundred percent. Why can't she? First of all, didn't he take a vow not to take any wives? I don't think yeah, he they're can. not gonna be in King's Landing. They're you think they're gone. gonna run off together? For sure. Is he going to abandon her claim to the throne? She's going to lose it, in my opinion. Okay, interesting. Making some predictions here. Oh, Damon getting a little close. Jeez, he hasn't been back home in years. Is there a crown on? Yeah. What could he possibly have to say? But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. What is this play here? I don't buy it, dude. Neither do I. He hasn't yet seen any tapestries gifted to you by Noble St. Corvall. Would you like to see the tapestry? <laughs> He's so drunk. <laughs> Like bridging that gap finally. Maybe. Him with short hair is so awful. I heard some people complain about the long hair. I don't have an opinion. Who's that? I like she has extra clothes in there. Yeah. Is she gonna run away or I don't She yeah. looks confused by them. Yeah. What the hell? And the clothes. Someone's trying to get her to sink out. A cool her fucking uncle? Life. You think? Who else would know about that? I guess, yeah. Just a um, night on the town? Yeah, right. Damn, Damon's one G of an uncle. What the hell is that? That was the scariest thing in Game of Thrones <laughs> history. Was it? Oh, dude, he's got patches all over Ew. him. Leave us, all of you. Oh my god, please don't do anything sexual. I can't handle it. I don't think they would. The actress that plays her is pretty young. Good. You have a far kinder touch than they do. Thank you. So cringe. A girl, his heir. Uh -oh. It was like Arya watching herself in the play. But many of us from the folk are like to believe that as a male, Aegon should be the heir. I wonder if that's what he brought her there for. Ew. Ew. Things I did not his need back. to see. Oh, I wonder what Damon's trying to get at with this this field trip. Ew. What's he trying to say? He wants her. Hurt? No, I don't think so. Uh, Okay. Oh no, we've crossed the line. Bruh, it's her uncle. What is she doing right now? They're Targaryens, man. They don't got rules like that. Is this the direction we felt this going in? Not even remotely that he was interested a in little. That way? I don't even really know what to say about this. This is so bizarre. What the hell is that? Don't leave her in there. What the hell is going on right now? 
Mm, there's a witness. That was such a strange scene. This can't be good. This is going to have bad consequences. Man. Derek nailed this one on the head. They get married easily. That doesn't mean they're going to get married. Easily. Not mean they're going to get married. 50%. No, no, no. There's if anything, no this means that things are going to go sour for them. Dude, I don't think this means they're going to end up together. 150% marriage incoming. This is going to end so badly. They will be married by the next episode. This guy. He's going to see that little boy now. Oh. Is the white room the place or a person? The place. I mean, what was the king going to do this information? Damn, Damon set her up. I've met that guy behind the things where I put all the presents of So they're not together anymore. No, she left, man. Mm. Maybe Damon planted that spy there because he wanted this to come out. That's why he Maybe. didn't fully take advantage of her, but he lured her enough to. Your design is obvious. You sure about that? You wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you are willing to destroy my own. Damn, is he on to him? Oh my god, this guy's gonna get wrecked. He is hungover or drunk <laughs> or both. Here and now, to take the world. Jeez, is that his goal? Ooh, the dagger. Ooh, there's the dagger. With Anar at your side. And before that, difficult times. No, but we know where it goes from here. Yes. You are my political headache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burn pretty much. Your wedding has slain of a lot. No shot she's marrying this guy. She's gonna run off with Sir Kristen and marry him. Oh, no, because you still think that's happening. Of course. What vulture? Oh. Otto's getting called out this episode. Is this happening? Yo, this is happening. If this guy gets removed his hand, he's coming back. And he's coming back hot and heavy. How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? Damn, that's a huge accusation. You're crazy. Something tells me he's not talking his way out of this one. Oof, he's taking it oh, back. Shit. Shoot. This is what I'm saying, man. What? This was not his decision to fire King Rhaenyra talked him into it. You saying he can't make decisions on He cannot. Own. Last episode was Allison. Every episode is someone like influences him. Influencing him, I feel like. Mm. He makes a big decision every or every episode and it never it's always after he talks to someone else who But he did call out him. Otto before he Rhaenyra. Did, did. But then when he was just talking to Rhaenyra, it's like he forgot about that. Mm. He cannot make a decision by himself. Oh, don't drink it. That? Oh, she's pregnant. Damn, we never see if she drinks it. All right. Very interesting episode. A lot of relationships being tested. Some of them ending. I know it's all taken right now. I need like two seconds. The end of the episode was pretty shocking. Nazi Otto getting kicked out. Not so quickly. That was pretty quick for me. So, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. I don't know where he goes from here. Damon coming back. Still don't know if we figured out his play. If it, if that was his intention. Is that he's no trying idea. to marry Rhaenyra. Or he just no missed idea. being at home. Like, I, I don't know. But mm -hmm. We have Rhaenyra growing up. She's kind of subverting duty for experience. Yeah. Whereas you see Alicent is doing duty above any everything yeah, and else. Yeah, how miserable she is. Yeah, we definitely do get it. Like, even though we don't hear her express how she feels, we, get the we definitely linger on her a lot yeah. more and see maybe some of that inner turmoil she's experiencing. It's really interesting. I think it's interesting that they left her drinking that as a cliffhanger. Either she didn't drink it and she is pregnant and now there's going to be this child that we're going to see in the next episode all of a sudden. Yeah, see, we're going to know. I think we're going to know if she, she has a child next episode. Or she does do it. Or she'll be pregnant. I don't know unless we're going to time jump again. Right. You see the king's getting worse with his, um, his body sores. Discord through that in. is yeah. that is nasty. So his he's on the he's on the clock, man. His time's ticking. But again, it'll be interesting to see if that does him in or if someone's gonna kill him. I feel like it's gonna be on natural means, just the way it's going. The only thing I will say that I don't like about the time jumps is you miss a little bit of the arriving to certain decisions like the Sarah's turning on Otto feels very sudden as opposed to something that could have built up over seasons of him trying to yeah but we kind of saw this coming we saw that Otto had an agenda the whole time from episode one so I think it was kind of inevitable that we saw him getting removed eventually I didn't think it was going to be eventually quick. not episode well, four well you think about it there's been years that have passed at this point right but that's what I'm saying is it makes everything feel like it's moving a little more quickly than right. you thought mm -hmm. definitely some interesting conversations in this one considering 
continuing to see relationships get fractured over wanting the throne, the continuing to see our characters grow up. Warm, really interesting. It seemed like they were trying to bridge a gap between yeah. their, their fallout. I don't know to what extent. Well, it seems like they had kind of mended things, but then the you know the accusations against Rhaenyra kind of almost shattered them again. But she believes her. She does believe her. But we're okay for now. Okay for now. Put a band-aid on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Remember, if you guys liked the video, to leave a like on this for us. And uh, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe for more reactions from us. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next reaction. Peace.